Hello and welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor where we're going to continue working on oxidation numbers, trying to calculate the oxidation number of elements in a compound or in a polyatomic ion. And this will be the last section of problems where we are just getting the skills with the practice to find the oxidation numbers. In subsequent sections we'll use that information in a chemical reaction to figure out what's happening with the electrons and what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. So oxidation numbers are, are crucial, and we've mentioned that several times already. So in this section, we've got a couple of problems. Both of them are nice to give you extra practice, and especially the second problem is going to open your eyes a little bit uh, to, to one of the interesting things about oxidation numbers. So let's just jump right in and uh, make sure you can understand these problems and also make sure that you can do them yourself. So here we have hydrogen, arsenic, oxygen, and this is an ion where the uh, charge on this whole uh, guy is negative 2. So again, we go off and we look at rule number 1, which we've done many times, and basically it says if it's an ion, then the sum of the oxidation numbers is equal to the charge on that ion. So that's what we're doing right here. And so then we go off and we write down rule number 1, the sum of the oxidation numbers is going to be equal in this case to negative 2 because this ion has a charge of negative 2. So that's the first thing. Now we go down our list in priority order and figure out first, do we have any group 1 or group 2 metals? Well here we have hydrogen, arsenic, and oxygen. So you don't count hydrogen as a metal. Even though it's in the group 1, um, it's, it's still not really considered a metal. We've, we've learned before that hydrogen has its own rule down, down a little bit farther, and it also has an exception if, if hydrogen is bonded uh, to a metal in a, in a two-element compound. But bottom line is when you look at rule number one, you're talking about everything other than hydrogen in, in columns one and two, um, so this doesn't apply. We don't have any sodiums or calciums or, or um, potassiums or anything like that. So we go down to rule three. Do we have any fluorines? We don't have any fluorines. So we're done with that. We don't have that. Now we go and we see we do have a hydrogen. The oxidation number of this guy is plus one. Uh, the, um, the exception does not apply because it says when hydrogen is bonded to a metal such as something like this, this is quite different because this is a three element compound, it's really an ion, it doesn't fit into that exception, so we're going to go with the basic rule that just says that hydrogen is going to have plus one oxidation number. So what we'll put down here is we'll say hydrogen is going to equal to plus one, and that's rule four, and the top is rule one. 